All right. Well, good afternoon. Hello. Welcome. Dajia hao. Um, thank you for joining us to learn about the 2024 Critical Language Scholarship Spark Initiative and application. Um, we are excited that you are considering applying to CLS Spark for next year. Um, the CLS program is a program of the U.S. Department of State with funding provided by the US government and supported in its implementation by our team at American Councils for International Education. Um, my name is Jake Spears. I am uh, the Chinese program officer with the CLS program. And I'm joined by my colleague, Maya. Hello everyone, my name is Maya Petronova and I'm the program coordinator for the CLS program at American Councils. And we're also very happy today to be joined by an alumnus of the CLS program, Jesse uh, Campanelli. Jesse, would you like to introduce yourself? Of course. Hello, everybody. I'm Jesse. I'm a uh, alumna of both the Spark and the in-person program. Today's focus is on Spark, though, so we'll be talking more about that. I'm a junior at University of Rochester, majoring in international relations and also obviously studying Chinese. And I'm very happy to be here to help you guys however I can. Awesome. Thanks, Jesse. We're happy to have you. Um, so in this presentation, uh, we're going to go over an overview of the CLS uh, Spark Chinese Initiative, the structure of the Spark Chinese Virtual Institutes, the benefits of participating in CLS Spark, and tips for writing a compelling application. Um, so we've got a Q&A box. Uh, Hopefully you're familiar with, with the Zoom functionality. Um, so as we go along, feel free to put your questions in there. Uh, we will save answering the questions towards the end of the presentation too. Um, so stay tuned towards the end and we will make sure we get to all of your questions as well. So what is CLS Spark? CLS Spark is an initiative that provides virtual instruction of a critical language at the beginning level over the course of eight to 10 weeks during the summer. It's intended to provide American students the access and opportunity to start their language learning journeys, even when critical languages may not be offered on their campuses or when they may have responsibilities that prevent them from studying abroad. CLS Spark for Chinese supports US undergraduate students in all fields of study to learn Chinese at the beginning level. It's offered for those who have no previous formal classroom study of Chinese. All right, so why Chinese? With over a dozen, 13 to be exact, CLS languages and three CLS Spark languages to choose from, uh, why would you pick Chinese? Well, for one, Chinese is one of the world's most widely spoken languages. It has 1.3 billion, and that's billion with a B, speakers of some variant of Chinese, um, and approximately 800 million, excuse me, 800 million speakers of Mandarin Chinese, which is the most common and widely used variant. Um, another reason to consider is that Chinese is the official and dominant language of the People's Republic of China, um, which, as I'm sure you all know, is a country of immense global influence um, and particular importance to the United States. Chinese is also the dominant language in Taiwan, and it is a commonly used language in countries with large Chinese diasporas, such as Singapore, Malaysia, and even Indonesia. It is also one of the six official languages of the United Nations. Uh, Chinese is a gateway to a culture and civilization that has existed for thousands of years and has produced enormous quantities of art, music, literature, archaeological treasures, etc., while also exerting significant influence over much of East and Southeast Asia. If you're more concerned with the modern era, however, Chinese continues to be one of the most in-demand languages among employers in both the public and private, excuse me, private sectors due to its international relevance. Chinese is an invaluable career skill with a, for, in, a wild, in a wide variety of industries, including business, technology, and government. So one question we often receive is, what is the difference between the CLS program overseas institutes and CLS Spark? Both of these initiatives offer language immersion and instruction. Um, but while the CLS program takes place overseas, CLS Spark is an entirely virtual language learning initiative. For Spark, Chinese is offered only at the absolute beginner level. And it's designed for students who have no previous experience formally studying the language. If you have taken Chinese classes previously and you're at the advanced beginner, intermediate, or advanced level, 
we would encourage you to check out the CLS program overseas institutes for Chinese. And the application for those is also now open. Um, if you're interested in learning more about the CLS program overseas institutes, uh, we will be offering webinars about those. So please check our events calendar for more information or go on our YouTube to view um, previously recorded webinars. In terms of language gain, uh, CLS Spark offers the opportunity to gain the equivalent of approximately one year of academic language study over the course of only eight to 10 weeks. Participants learn how to speak, read, and write the target language, though the immersive environment of CLS Spark really emphasizes gains in speaking in particular. Um, so as, as Maya mentioned, CLS Spark for Chinese takes place um, over the course of eight to 10 weeks during the summer. And for reference, the 2023 initiative was eight and a half weeks. Uh, so small group classes and activities are facilitated by host institutions abroad. Um, so while you'll be taking Spark from the comfort of your home, the institute and the teachers that you're studying with will be overseas. Each of our partner institutes hosts 15 to 20 students, which are further divided into smaller class sizes. This ensures a strong learning outcome, as well as more opportunities for the cohort to share and develop interests uh, with, with, with each other. Uh, each cohort of students participates in a total of 90 hours of programming throughout the summer. And each week, this includes 10 hours of live, synchronous class instruction. In addition, participants spend time learning about the culture of partner institutions and interactive and engaging cultural activities, such as Chinese cooking class. Each week, CLS Spark participants have individualized tutoring sessions with their instructors, which are adapted to their specific language learning needs. CLS Spark participants also have language partners from host communities to help practice everyday conversation skills. So while participants of CLS Spark build community with each other through optional career development and workshops and networking opportunities, uh, these workshops will also include advice from CLS alumni on applying to the CLS program overseas institutes and sessions to inform and prepare students for more scholarship and career opportunities. Each CLS Spark participant is paired with a language partner, as I mentioned, and they will meet with this language partner uh, weekly uh, to practice their speaking skills in a one-on-one -on -one format. Uh, in addition to the academic aspect of meeting with your language partner, uh, these partners also provide an opportunity for you to engage in peer-to-peer -peer cultural exchange um, and, and speak with someone with whom you can gain insight um, into their host culture and share insights about your own culture as well. Um, so as Jake mentioned, there are a few different host institutions for CLS Spark, um, but when you apply for Spark, it's important to note that you are applying uh, for a specific language and not a specific site. So in the past, CLS Spark Chinese has been hosted by institutions in Singapore, as well as Dalian, China. Um, but the host institutions for uh, Spark are subject to change from year to year, and they're going to be announced for, to finalists in the spring of 2024. Um, as Jake mentioned, in addition to language instruction, CLS Spark offers participants virtual opportunities to learn about the regions where the target language is spoken. Through cultural lessons and activities, Spark students gain additional insight into the culture of their host site, which supplements the formal group language classes. Some examples of past cultural activities that our students have participated in are calligraphy classes and martial arts demonstrations that are taught either by institute staff or by guest instructors. Sorry, I had myself muted there. So what are the benefits of CLS Spark? Uh, well, for one, CLS Spark is funded by the US Department of State, uh, which means you're receiving a scholarship, including the cost of language instruction and cultural programming, as well as course materials. Uh, the scholarship also provides the stipends, which you can use towards supplementary uh, technology and equipment and, co and connectivity costs, um, which will help you as a participant take advantage of the virtual environment. Uh, those who successfully complete CLS Spark will be eligible for course credit, which is issued by Bryn Mawr College. Additionally, alumni of the program receive a certified ACTFL OPI test score, which certifies and verifies their language gains and proficiency.
While CLS Spark participants have no service commitment to the U.S. government after completion of the program, alumni are eligible for non-competitive eligibility for U.S. government jobs, or NCE status, which makes pursuing a career in the civil service much easier if that is your goal. Other great benefits for participants include contributing to and building community with a cohort that represents the diversity of the United States, as well as becoming members of a supportive and diverse network of CLS and U.S. Department of State International Exchange alumni. CLS alumni receive access to professional development resources and other opportunities that are only open to alumni of the U.S. Department of State programs. Last but not least, students in CLS Spark are encouraged to apply for the CLS program overseas institutes to continue their language learning journeys by studying the target language abroad. Those who do apply for the CLS program summer institutes following their completion of CLS Spark will automatically be considered semifinalists for that opportunity. So the application for the 2024 CLS Spark Initiative uh, comprises of three short answer essays. Please note that there is no letter of recommendation that is required. However, we still strongly recommend that you reach out to professors and trusted resources on your campus for help with your application. Faculty and instructors might have ideas for areas of international interest in your field, which you can expand upon in your application. A writing center, fellowship or scholarship office, study abroad office, honors program, et cetera, if your campus offers these resources, may be good places to start and get some feedback on your essays. Now we're gonna turn it over to Jesse for a bit. Um, Jesse, could you tell us a bit about why you decided to apply for CELA Spark and what you thought were the greatest benefits of participating? Yes, 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 okay. So I've actually known since, or I had known since before high school started that I wanted to apply to CLS when I was eligible. Uh, I got a scholarship to go to university because I couldn't afford it on my own. And the one bad part about that was that my program does not have, or that my school does not have a program in Chinese. So despite wanting to learn Chinese, I was unable to really do it, which is what made CLS even more perfect, CLS Spark even more perfect for that. So in my first year, CLS Spark became a thing. I was part of the first cohort. So once I learned about that, I knew for a fact I wanted to apply, put all the work in. I was lucky enough to get it, and it was a great decision. And as far as benefits, I can say that, of course, I started at the beginning level. And based on those OPIs that uh, we just recently talked about, the language gains being certified, I finished the program at what is called an intermediate high level. So it's pretty much going from nothing to almost an advanced level, which is pretty absurd. So for reference, I had studied Spanish for like four years in high school. And just by the completion of CLS Spark, my Chinese is also like already way better in my Spanish. So that alone is a great benefit. And I can also talk about um, the semifinalist status, how useful that was, because the next application cycle, I was fortunate enough to get into the summer program. And additionally, that non-competitive eligibility Right after I finished CLS Spark, I began applying for internships and stuff. And though I didn't end up taking the offer because I did CLS this summer, I did get a, I, I got two um, internship offers for the summer in the federal government. Uh, yeah, I didn't end up taking them though because I did CLS and I was happy about that. So yeah, everything about this program is perfect. The language gains were immense. Uh, it helped me find almost an internship right away. And it put me on the pipeline to getting into the CLS summer program where my Chinese improved even more. So I highly suggest giving this program a shot. Great, Jesse, thank you so much. Um, and I, I think it's an important to note um, that even though Jesse decided to forego uh, his two internships in place of doing CLS a second time, that he again has non-competitive eligibility upon completion of CLS overseas. Um, so these opportunities are certainly not lost, perhaps just postponed. All right, well, when we're looking at applying to CLS Spark, um, what kind of applicants are we looking for? Uh, well, we want applications from students of all majors and all disciplines. Um, what we're really looking for are students to think about how critical languages, you know, in this case, Chinese, can help your career. 
Uh, CLS Spark is guided by principles of diversity, equity, inclusion, and expansion into access for groups that are generally underrepresented underrepresented in study abroad. Uh, we welcome applicants from students of color, students with disabilities, students from community colleges, historically black colleges and universities, tribal colleges and universities, and students who may have started college after gaining experience in careers or caregiving. In the application, students are asked to list their past and current coursework, as well as their activities and employment. And as previously mentioned, the application does include three short written uh, essay responses. The first, which is a statement of motivation, should address the applicant's interest in their target language and how their interest relates to personal, academic, and professional goals they may have. In the second, which is a statement of access to language learning opportunities, Students are asked to reflect on what barriers they've encountered in their pursuit of language study and why CLS Spark is a necessary and unique opportunity for them. Finally, students are asked to reflect on, in the statement of experience, what unique experiences, perspective, and or background that they can contribute to their cohort and how they can contribute to the larger goal of mutual understanding between cultures. Once again, in order to prepare a competitive application, we do strongly recommend starting as soon as you can and taking advantage of resources on your campus for help, such as going to a scholarships or a fellowships office or a writing center to have them review your short essays and to make sure that you have clearly answered each of the questions. Uh, and now Jesse, do you have any tips, you know, that you could share from your experience applying to CLS Spark? Yeah, I could share like a million tips. Uh, so what I'll do after, I'll, I'll pick one, but I'll leave my email uh, in the general chat for everybody to see and feel free to email me. But like everybody that I talk to from my cohorts all say the same thing. The biggest thing about this is you have to be highly personal. Like this is not like an application to a software engineering internship where it's going through robots and they're looking for key technical terms. You need to think about why CLS needs to ask these questions in the first place. Like this program can be stressful and it can be a big time commitment. And on top of that all, this is diplomacy. This is the Department of State. You are working with foreign communities on behalf of America. They need to know why you should be doing this. Can you handle this? And should you be someone that is representing America to our foreign partners? So you know you can. You know That's why you're here. I know you can. You just have to prove to them personally and with demonstrated examples that you can reassure those concerns. So why is doing this important to you? Why you over the other people? In a perfect world, we would have unlimited funding. Everybody who wants to learn can go learn these languages, but it's not. So why are you a strong candidate? Why is this very applicable to you over maybe the people you're competing with? Can you handle this? You know you can. Prove to us that you can, or prove to them that you can. Prove to them that you have overcome burdens like this in the past and that the skills you developed will help you here. And should you be someone that it can be trusted to represent America diplomatically? So talk about who you are, how you can work with people interculturally, your communication skills. Talk about what makes you you and the ways that pertain to these questions. It's very important. Uh, I don't know like what the prompts are for the CLS Spark application, but I can almost guarantee that these things are going to be there when you go look at them. It's the biggest one I have. I'll leave my email in the chat. Thank you, Jesse. That's huge. That's really great advice. Um which I think you can apply to both uh, CLS Spark and, and the CLS Overseas program as well. Um, definitely good things to keep in mind and, and thank you for your willingness to share your email. Um, with all of that said, the application is open now. Uh, the deadline is November 14th, so a little over a month. Um, it seems like a long time, but it's really not. So don't procrastinate, get going as soon as you can. So it's due November 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern time, which is 5 p.m. on the on the West Coast um, Pacific time. But we strongly recommend submitting well in advance of the deadline to avoid any last minute computer issues or glitches that might prevent you from submitting. Uh, by late January, every applicant will be notified of whether or not they've advanced to the semifinal round. Uh, this notification is done by email, so make sure you're using a valid email address um, in your application. Uh, for those who do advance to the semifinal rounds, you can expect to be notified by early March of whether you've been selected for the award. If you are selected for the award, you will have about two weeks to accept or decline. 
Um, if you choose to decline the award for any reason, uh, your spot will be provided to an alternate candidate. Uh, for more information about CLS Spark or the CLS Program Overseas Institutes, we invite you to stay in touch by following us on Instagram, um, Facebook, and Twitter or X. Um, we will use these pages to share updates about the program throughout the year. Uh, so thank you again for taking the time to join us this afternoon. Um, we can take some time now to answer your questions, uh, but we also want to point out the important contact information on the screen. Uh, so for emails, feel free to shoot us an email at cls at americancouncils.org um, or check out our website at clscholarship.org slash applicants. We put a lot of time into creating uh, various resources for applicants, so we encourage you to check out the website and read through the information provided there.